Hi, Sunshines. Welcome to week two. I still haven't come up with a good name for this year, so I've just been going with a year of sunshine. And I don't know if anyone has a good name, please write it down below. I wanted to do like a year of change or growth, but I don't know. They sound kind of boring. So, so far it's year of sunshine and uh, this is week two. Although last week I put kind of negative one because it was the prep week. So I guess you could call this week one, but whatever. I'm just going to go with two. It's the second video I'm making. We'll kind of try and make this easy um, and go from there. Uh, welcome. Hi, I'm Lauren. If you haven't watched the intro video, I suggest maybe you take a minute and do that. But basically, uh, my father passed away earlier this year, and it's kind of got me thinking about life and what I am planning for the next section of mine. So I am doing a year of sort of self-help things, you know, one every week and working on connecting with friends and family more and just all sorts of things that I noticed my dad had a bit of a harder time with later in life and yeah, just kind of trying to see how it goes. So, I mean, if you want to think of it like the happiness project or um, eat, pray, love or something like that, you can, but this is probably not quite as <laughs> strict as the happiness project and not quite as free form as uh, Eat, Pray, Love, so somewhere in the middle. But if you would like to follow along with me, let's get into it. So week one is about forgiveness, and there are lots of different ways you can do this. I chose the, and I'm sorry if I am butchering the name, but the Hawaiian practice of Hopopono. Um, I'll write it down below and, you know, kind of go through the whole thing. But basically, the, the very basic idea is you look at different things in your life, things that people, instances, I mean, some people do body parts, like things that have upset you that you need to kind of release and sort of forgive out of your life. And so the practice, the way I was taught is to say, you know, come up with the things that you're looking at. So for me, mostly this time, it's been about different events that, you know, either my father and I fighting or things that were going on um, around kind of a certain time when we started to lose touch. So looking at those instances and then forgiving them. So I would say, I forgive you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I love you. And that's kind of the practice some people do it differently and you know i'm sure you can go more into it just look it up online but that is the way i have been doing it and kind of here's what the week looked like so what i found this week is at the end of every day i would sit for a few minutes and kind of think of some of the things that have come up since my father passed away and things that, you know, I've been thinking about mostly in relation to him. And obviously you can do it for anything in your life. But I spent every night and I would choose a few different things and kind of release them. And what I found was <laughs> I definitely still have, I don't know, my mind trying to protect itself. So like I would sometimes get like very 
Like I really wouldn't want to do it, but I kind of forced myself every night. Sometimes the things that came up were really heavy. And those nights I would usually journal and then do like one item and kind of sit with it and and try to really sort of release it from from just being like a hold on me. Um, and then the other thing I noticed is, especially with some of the larger things, that one thing would remind me of another thing. And I would have like a whole nother set of things I was thinking about from that I would go on to say the next day. One of the good things that came out of it though was that I actually realized there's a lot that's happened that over the course of the years I really have let go. And there are things that like I thought of, but I realized I'm not holding on to any anger or resentment around it. It's just like, you know, I still have the memory of something happened, but it doesn't upset me. It doesn't like weigh on me anymore. So in that sense, it was also really good to see that like there, <laughs> there's been progress. I have made progress and, you know, there's every reason to think that more progress can be made going forward. So for this particular practice, I'm going to continue it past this week. I'm going to keep it in my planner as sort of a daily thing to do. And, you know, I probably won't pick a lot of stuff every day because I do have other things coming up that I want to focus on. But one or two items a day, things that like sort of come to the forefront of my, you know, memories and everything. I'll try to work on some of that as I continue on. It's probably something that I will return to as the years go, as, as the year goes on. And I'm sure as the years go on, but specifically it's something I think that you realize some things like hold on to you at a deeper level and some things are more easy to let go. If you want the planner that, you know, includes the steps for a Hovapono, hopefully I got that right, um, that will be over on my Patreon along with the blog. If you want to become a patron, if you don't, that's totally fine. The blog is still free. There'll be information in there. And you can also download uh, my free weekly and monthly planner sheets that I've been using. Uh, they just won't be filled in for you. So either way, you can head over there, check that out. And now I have a few of my favorite things for the week because one of the things that I noticed is as my dad kind of got older and got a little bit more angry, he didn't love the stuff that he used to love. Now, we all change. Like, you know, I don't know. My favorite book used to be, I think, um, oh, something about the moon. I can't remember, but I read it like 50 times in elementary school. Oh, this place has no atmosphere. I love that book as a kid. It is no longer my favorite book. <laughs> okay. So, but it wasn't that. It was like, he wasn't replacing it with anything new. He was just like, not like nothing was making him happy. And so I decided to do a favorite things at the end of every video just to kind of remind myself to be happy and grateful and to recognize the stuff that I really like. So this week, one of my favorite things has been I've read the autobiography of Colin Jost. He's an SNL cast member and writer, head writer. He's done a bunch of stuff there. And I think he's very funny. Um, so I read his audiobook, A Very Punchable Face. <laughs> 
It's, uh, it's pretty funny. It's like a series of essays. I highly recommend it. He reads it. Uh, it's also in book form. I did not get the book, although he plugs the book through the audiobook, because apparently within the book, there are pictures in different chapters. And, you know, he keeps saying, if you want to see the picture, you have to read the book. So I didn't do that. I'm sure the pictures are funny, but I really liked listening to it. That's just me. The second thing that I'm super excited about this week is my washi tape collection. It has gotten slightly out of hand because for a long time I would do this thing where I would buy washi tape, but then I would not use it because I was like, well, I love it and I don't want it, anything to happen to it. But it's not that fun left in the box. So I have been using my washi tapes to decorate my journals and to decorate my planner and just to kind of put cute little things um, in different places and on letters. And I wrote uh, my nieces and stuff. So I decorated the envelopes with washi tape. But yeah, I just, it's like a fun little bit of color and there are all sorts of different designs and themes and I don't know. I just had a really good time with it this week. So those are my two favorites. And if I am really good, and I'm going to try to be, there is about to be a video of Sunshine doing something adorable. So until next time, bye. Sunshine. Hey. Oh, thank you. Okay.